on have moved out of town to a remote farm to get away from sources of Wi-Fi, which Leone says has a severe effect on her health. The first thing I feel is sort of in my jaw area, I get sort of an ache or an unusual feeling. And then gradually, the left side of my face goes into a spasm. It gets pulled up this way. Then I have trouble with speech because my tongue doesn't work properly. But what happens to me, I can't do it. I can't screw my face or my tongue or anything that way or walk that way unless I am affected by something. However, international experts such as Professor Rodney Croft say there is no evidence that Wi-Fi has a harmful effect on human health. Science acknowledges that people are suffering but there's no evidence that it's actually related to the electromagnetic fields. Professor Croft is the director of the Australian Centre for Electromagnetic Bioeffects Research, overseeing ongoing studies to find the cause of what is called electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Once you use a double blind testing technique where the person doesn't know when the exposure's on or off, then they're no longer able to tell when they're being exposed. When Leone Southern returns to her home, which is nearby multiple sources of Wi-Fi, the symptoms are clearly visible. I haven't got the words to describe them. It's a dreadful feeling. Um, I guess it's much like having a stroke. We're seeing very extreme symptoms there and clearly she's suffering a lot. It is something that has to be dealt with, but the symptoms tend to be more to do with when the person believes the exposure's on, rather than it actually being the exposure itself. I have thought of that. Um, but then so many times that I haven't anticipated it, haven't even known there was going to be a problem, and it occurs. So I've often been told from various people that it's all in your head. Um, I wish it was all in my head because then maybe it could be cured. Her local GP says that whether the symptoms are caused by Wi-Fi or something else, there's no evidence either way, and therefore no clear treatment. Whereas I believe that the story that John and Leone give of being affected by internet is quite credible, there's nothing, nothing scientific that could explain why she's ended up where she is now, so I don't know. Medicine has a, a long history of uh, unusual symptoms, which, uh, which are difficult to pin down and uh, I certainly couldn't tell you what's causing it. To go back to a normal life would be wonderful and it's just getting worse. Mm. Bill Brown, ABC News, Bermagui. Okay, Keely, let's get this started. Okay. The country's major research centre into any possible link is the Australian Centre for RF Bioeffects Research, run by Rodney Croft. Should we be worried about this? No, no. There, there really has been a lot of research done to date, and the research has very clearly shown that there aren't any effects. With children, uh, I really don't think that there is any evidence suggesting that this might be a problem. The, the, there isn't anything to suggest that we may have to be a little bit more cautious. The ACRBR boasts some of our most experienced scientists, but as we'll see, it also has strong links with the industry. Not so easy is explaining close ties with the industry. The ACRBR was created with Telstra funding and Telstra lab equipment. Rodney Croft denies that the industry buys influence. You have Telstra researchers working through the ACRBR. Your board consists of at least one director who's a Telstra mm -hmm. board member, who's a former chief government scientist and a former head of the CSIRO. Mm -hmm. Can you see the potential for some heavy influence then? It would still be very difficult. Uh... Not so easy is explaining close ties with the industry. The ACRBR was created with Telstra funding and Telstra lab equipment. Rodney Croft denies that the industry buys influence. You have Telstra researchers working through the ACRBR. Your board consists of at least one director who's a Telstra board member, who's a former chief government scientist and a former head of the CSIRO. Can you see the potential for some heavy influence then? It would still be very difficult.